10 things that guinea pigs hate? Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. I'm a volunteer at the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue, and today we're gonna talk about 10 things that guinea pigs hate. But before I get into that, I just wanna remind everybody that you still have an opportunity to help me help the guinea pig sanctuary. Now, the guinea pig sanctuary is in Hampton, New Hampshire, and they had a devastating fire about a year ago and they are looking to find a new place, but all the while they've been helping guinea pigs in need and people in their community. So it's a really worthwhile organization and I would ask that you please consider helping me help them by getting one of these Joshua Tree Jade necklaces. All right, so let's talk about 10 things that guinea pigs hate. Number one, loud noises. Guinea pigs are prey animals and loud noises can scare them, okay? They have very sensitive hearing and they don't like surprising loud noises. That doesn't mean that you need to tiptoe around them or speak quietly. They can handle the general sounds of your house and even a truck driving by outside isn't going to scare them, but abrupt, uh, sudden, loud noises does scare them. So keep that in mind. But you know what? Some of my guinea pigs even popcorn when I'm running the vacuum. So it's not necessarily that all loud noises scare them, but sudden loud noises is really what kind of freaks them out. So be mindful of that. Number two, a dirty cage. Now, guinea pigs do not like to live in a dirty cage. They need a minimum of eight square feet for a pair of guinea pigs, and you will find that guinea pigs are very clean animals, but they need to have a clean environment. And that means weekly cleaning, maybe spot cleaning, it depends on the type of bedding you use. At the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, we recommend pine shavings or fleece. The paper bedding is fine. It tends to get a little stinky. Who's chewing over here? Is that Nate? Nate, I'm gonna get you. You're interrupting my video. <laughs> this is a theme with him. He interrupts the video and so now you gotta be part of it. So we're talking about dirty cages. It's really easy to clean a cage and if you have a 2 by 4 CNC, it shouldn't take you more than 10, 15 minutes to clean the cage, okay? And the pine shavings are pretty inexpensive, as well as fleece, which has an upfront investment, but then you can reuse it and wash it. So cleaning the cage should not be an issue. If you're going to have any pets, you need to make sure that their environment is clean. And that goes especially for guinea pigs, which spend most of their time in their cage, in their habitat. So. You wanna make sure to keep their cage clean. Okay, let's talk about the third thing that guinea pigs hate. Guinea pigs hate cold temperatures. What does that mean? It means if you're cold, then they're cold. Guinea pigs need a little house, they need a hidey, they need some kind of little place to hide inside their cage. Just having a cage isn't enough. They need a little house in there and that will help them stay warm. But another suggestion for keeping them warm would be a fleece cozy, a fleece cuddle sack, some kind of little fleece thing that they can crawl into, that they can climb into and stay warm. Even a tunnel, a fleece tunnel, goes a long way to keeping them warm. Well, you did it to yourself, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. While we're talking about temperatures, let's talk about heat. Heat is the fourth thing that guinea pigs hate. They don't like to be hot just as much as they don't like to be cold, except both of them can be deadly, but heat stroke is especially deadly and especially something that they're susceptible to. So you could be playing with your piggies outside in the sunshine, and then all of a sudden they're laying down and drooling and panting, and before you know it, they're on full on heat stroke. So it's something to be aware of if you have to travel with them or if you want them to hang out 
uh, in a, a warm area, make sure that you have a frozen water bottle wrapped in a sock. That goes a long way to keeping them cool when the temperatures get above what we would consider comfortable. Now, I said just a second ago, if you're comfortable, then they're comfortable but they have slightly higher temperatures than people. So it's very important to keep that in mind that if you're starting to get hot, they're already hot. And if you don't have air conditioning or some kind of a temperature control, then it's really important that you pay attention and that you put in frozen water bottles when it gets really hot. Let's talk about the fifth thing that guinea pigs hate, and that would be open spaces you would be surprised how many times people at the rescue ask me, is it okay that I take them outside? Now, guinea pigs can really enjoy the sunshine. You can set up a little playpen in the grass and as long as it hasn't been sprayed with pesticides, they can graze on the grass, they'll enjoy the sunshine. I've had piggies and I used to take them to the park when it was a, a nice 72, 75 degrees with a breeze and they love it. But keep in mind, that they are afraid of wide open spaces. So you need to have some kind of a hidey, some kind of a house for them to run into. And in general, you'll find that they really are most comfortable when they are in their own cage or when they're in an environment where they know all four walls and, and they feel comfortable and safe. Having a wide open sky with hawks circling really frightens them. They would much rather have a big cage inside where they feel safe than to go outside. And even this, this also, you'll notice this with floor time. Some guinea pigs, you put them on a big wide open floor and they will just run behind the couch and usually pee and poop, but they don't want anything to do with an open area where they feel vulnerable. Remember, they're prey animals and try to put yourself into their piggy shoes <laughs> and imagine what they're thinking. So let's talk about the sixth thing that guinea pigs hate, and that would be long nails. Guinea pigs, they uh, pretty much take care of themselves in a lot of respects, but they need us for certain things. They need us to clean their ears, they need us for health checks, they need us for lots of things, and one of those things is nail clips. Guinea pigs' nails grow pretty fast, and every eight weeks or so, you're gonna wanna trim them. They start to curl over, they start to curve around, they start to get very thick, they start to be very uncomfortable. And so guinea pigs hate when they have long nails that make them feel uncomfortable. So it's a really good idea to get in a good habit and to be comfortable with clipping the nails. I've got a video about how to do a nail clip and I'll put that video uh, right here. So now let's talk about the seventh thing that guinea pigs hate. Guinea pigs hate traveling. It's no surprise that they would rather be at home where they feel safe. They don't want to be dragged around in your little dog purse. They don't want to go to the mall. You know, they really feel safe and comfortable at home in their cages. Now, sometimes traveling is inevitable. And so if you're going to be traveling with your piggies, I like to use one of those pet store cages that are way too small for them to live in, but for a day trip, they make excellent carriers. And you want to have, again, a little hidey house in there so that they don't feel exposed, they don't feel vulnerable. If there's loud noises or if anything is scary to them, then they can hide and feel secure. Also, when you travel, I like to take the water bottle off the cage and I'll give them some fresh veggies like lettuce or something that's got a lot of water content to keep them hydrated while we're driving. And then I'll hook it back up when we're taking a break or I'll give it to them and, and just kind of hold it up to them so that they can get a drink if they need it. But in general, you want to keep the traveling with your piggies to a minimum, but at the same time, if you have to travel with them, I wouldn't worry about it too much. They will 
survive, but realize that they don't like it. So if you think, oh, I'm just gonna go for a Sunday drive with my piggies, ask yourself why, and would they feel comfortable uh, going along with you, or would they rather just stay home where they feel safe? Right, Nate? Okay, let's talk about the eighth thing that guinea pigs hate, and this is having their butts touched. Now, all guinea pigs are different, but sometimes if you scratch their butts, you hear how he's purring? Now there's an open debate about whether or not they like it, and you have to get to know your guinea pigs individually, because they are unique people with their own unique personalities. But I have found that guinea pigs tend to prefer to be scratched on the nose. Some piggies like it under the chin, like my little baby Gary. Um, sometimes they like having their ears scratched, but you will find, uh, and this is especially during bonding, if, if you are bonding two boys especially, they are doing their little circle dance, they are humping each other, they're climbing all over each other, and when you uh, touch their butts like that, especially during bonding, uh, I think it gives them the impression that they're being dominated and they don't like it. Now, I'm talking about touching their butts and how they hate it and then I'm doing it and this is for educational purposes and Nate is being a good sport and the debate is open, but when you touch them in the back like that, I think they don't like it. They would prefer to be scratched and petted in other places. So just keep that in mind. All right, now let's talk about the ninth thing that guinea pigs hate. Guinea pigs hate being picked up. Now, they don't mind being held, but they really don't like being grabbed and being pulled out of the environment where they feel safe. And you have to try to make this distinction. Being picked up starts when you reach your hands in and start chasing them around. And that's what they don't like. But it ends the moment that you've pulled them into your chest or into a cuddle sack or a cuddle cup and they feel secure. Once they feel secure, especially if you're giving them treats, then they will be happy. And they won't be angry with you. They won't be afraid and they'll actually enjoy it. But guinea pigs do not like to be picked up, to be chased by some scary talons, and they don't like to be grabbed. So if you can minimize the amount of grabbing, the amount of time that it takes you to actually pick them up, then you'll go a long way to gaining their trust and keeping them happy. Now, I have another video. This video is three easy ways to pick up your guinea pigs. And I've got three different techniques which not only make it easy for you to pick them up, but eliminates the fear that they would experience when you are reaching for them. So please watch that video because, like I said, it's not just about making it easy for you, it's about eliminating the fear that they experience. Okay, so now let's talk about the 10th thing that guinea pigs hate. And you know what? Nate is experiencing that right now. And that is being held for too long especially without treats. Now you'll find guinea pigs, really about 15 minutes is about all you can really expect from them as far as their patience. And if you're not giving them treats or making them feel safe by having a cuddle sack or something to hide in, then they're not going to feel um, secure. But here's an interesting note. When Nate and I watch videos, together, he seems to be very interested in the lights and in the sounds of the videos that we're watching. We were watching some Star Trek, and I could tell he was really interested in it. But, you know, I think he liked it a whole lot more before the carrots and the celery ran out. And after that, I could see he started to fidget, he started to look over there, and sometimes your piggies will vocalize, they'll go, bup, 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 and they're saying, you know what? I'm probably gonna pee on you pretty soon. So keep in mind how long you've been holding them for, when the treats ran out, are they in some kind of a cuddle cup or cuddle sack? Do they feel safe? And if you can't make them feel safe 
or at least bribe them with treats, then you will find that they're not going to be happy. Well, I hope you found this list helpful, and I'd love to hear from you. What are some things that your piggies hate? I'll be anxious to read those in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.